Hey everyone, this is Elliot with Exotic Motorsports and this is our 2006 Ferrari 612 Scagletti. 10,991 miles on it. The car is in exceptional shape. Take a look at the front here. It doesn't have any rock chips, very minimal if any. I see it has one right here. It's hard to see because of the color. but very, very nice car. All the wheels are in good shape. Tires are in good shape. As you can see there, the wheels don't have any wheel rash or anything on them. Tires are from 2016. Taking a look down the side of the car. No door dings, blemishes, imperfections, scratches, anything like that. You can check out additional photos and pricing information of this vehicle on our website. We do have a stack of service records to go along with the car that we can send over. This wheel here has a scuff right here, but it's just dirt. So it's not, it's not an actual scuff on the wheel. Rear tires as well from 2016. Coming around the back end of the car, you can see Everything looks great. One little scuff right there. But for a 2006, very, very clean. Coming around the passenger side of the vehicle again. Everything looks great. That wheel there doesn't have any wheel rash on it. That wheel there looks good. From our professional experience, the car has had a little bit of paint work done on the passenger side. No accidents or anything like that. So it must have been something that must have scratched it in order to blend it correctly. You can't just spray one individual part. Uh, so they did a good job in blending everything, but we can just We've been around cars for a while and know what what it's like to have a little bit of paint work done on it. Roof looks good. Interior of the car looks great. Black Daytona seats. All the panels and everything here look good. No sticky buttons anywhere on the car. Only flaws on the interior are your typical Ferrari dash shrinkage. The front of the dash. Seats look good. Memory seats and power seats. Back seats look like they've never even been sat in. As you can see there. Seat automatically goes back and forth fourth armrest looks good as you can see here around the surrounding uh, area right here there's a little bit of dash shrinkage on the inside as you can see here it's kind of a little loose and then up here as well a little bit of shrinkage from the dash. Common on almost every Ferrari. It does have the navigation key in here. I'm gonna take, take this out. So Ferrari did it to where you can take that off there. And that's actually how you insert the navigation SD card so and that just clips right back on it the screen just has to be wiped down there's nothing distorted on it we'll go ahead and fire it up so that way you can see screen 
works, radio works, all that good stuff. The navigation obviously isn't very user friendly. A lot of people will just use their phones, but for the collector, it's nice to know that it has that screen there. CD changer, around here it does have the bezel that's broken on it, but not anything major. Individual climate controls. Dashboard looks good on that side. The roof as well is in good shape. There's no sagging or anything from the headliner. You have your uh, tire pressure relearn button up there along with the dome lights. I'll close the door so that way that warning goes away. But as you can see, no warning lights or anything like that on the dash. 10,991 miles. Car is in really, really good shape. Shifters look good, paddle shifters. But like I said, no sticky on any of the air vents, any of the buttons, none of the sort. Center console looks good. Nice gray accents on the seats. We'll give it a little bit of throttle. Open the door so that way you could hear it. Put it in sport mode. Great, great sounding car. Hard to beat a Italian V12, that is for sure. So that is our 2006 Ferrari 612.